notes on the theory and practice of time travel. Number one, travel is possible only into the past. Number two, actions in the past cannot change the present. We borrowed the energy to appear in the past from the direct negative energy particles and return the energy back when we return. We appear in the past, just like we make ripples in the direct sea. The ripples appear and disappear, just like it never existed. We cannot change anything, no matter how we try. The direct sea is constant. I am a time traveler. I invented my time machine. I wrote my lecture notes and practiced it again and again. But I never delivered that talk. My house was on fire. I tried to change my destiny. I ran my machine and escaped into the past. I found the arsonist and wallowed him over the head. But when I returned to the present, nothing changed. The house was still burning. Every time I returned to the present, I spent several seconds typing in the time. I did not know how many seconds I still had. My death was already preordained. I was in despair. I can do nothing but borrow time from the direct sea. And when I was at my low point, I met Mingju. Hey man, what are you doing here? Why do you look so worried? Why do you look so sad? Come, you should cherish and enjoy every moment of your life. Come and drink with me and make merry. He brought me to his apartment. We became good friends and shared all happiness and pain. After several months, we met Chuang Ling. She came to live with us and fell in love with Ming Jun. I knew that Ming Jun loved Chuang Ling. I did not. It made no difference. Everything I do is just ripples in a direct sea. No effect no result, and makes no difference to me. Ming Jin died on 8th February 1988. The cause of death was a sudden, unexplained headache. When we put him on his bed, he was already nearing death. We just stared at each other until Chuang Ning's tears ran dry. Two days after, I returned to my burning house, typed in the time, and returned to 8th June 1984 again. Ming Jin will never die. I won't let him. Every time I reach his final morning, I returned to 1984, that perfect day in June. He doesn't know me. He never knows me, but we meet, the only two men willing to enjoy the day doing nothing. Later, I will introduce him to Chuang Ning. She won't know us either, but that's okay. We've got plenty of time.